Hey there guys, Wolfteam2008 here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you a program called Paint.net. First of all, what you want to do is go to your web browser, in my case it's Google Chrome. You want to open it up, and you want to go to GetPaint.net. This link will be in the description bar at the bottom of the video. Okay, so Paint.net, it is an alternative to... Microsoft's MS Paint. It is actually developed by an undergraduate college senior and it was a design project that was mentored by Microsoft. This program is free to download and it has been compared to the um, likes of Adobe Photoshop and GIMP. Okay so we want to download the current version which is 3.5.10 and you just want to click on that and goes through minimum system requirements Windows 7 is recommended but it can support Windows XP on Service Pack 3 or Windows Vista on Service Pack 1 Plus or newer Okay, so click here to download it. I've already got this, so I'm going to just cancel the download. So once it's downloaded, you can close your browser and go to wherever you saved the download to. In my case, it was on my desktop. So here is the download. As you can see, we have the WinRAR logo, it is a zip archive. So what you want to do is make sure you have a program like WinRAR or WinZip and open it up. And inside of the zip folder you will see the application installer. So just double click on it. It'll open up, click yes to any security options close the WinRAR archive. I recommend doing a quick install, make sure your language is set at your preferred one, mine is English. Click next. You agree to the terms and conditions. Feel free to read them at your own leisure but I ain't gonna bother. Click next. It's just creating a system restore point. This may take a little while, bearing in mind I am recording as well. So as you can see I have the paint.net icon on my desktop, I'm just waiting for it to optimize the performance. So because you don't need this anymore, if you moved it to your desktop you can simply just drop it back into your downloads folder. Clears the desktop up a bit because it can get a bit cluttered. If you do like um, Paint.net, you can always feel free to um, donate to them from support and continued development. Just click this donate box in the installer. And I want to start Paint, so click finish. Okay, so this is the actual layout of Paint.net. As you can see, it's a little more high-tech than the standard MS Paint. We have our color palette and our editing tools. We also have a history pane. So if I do something wrong, I can simply go back and redo it again. This is good if you are doing tricky jobs and you've got a zoom here it zooms into um, 3200% of the normal size of the window 
you have your units of measurement you can either have pixels inches or centimeters it's best to use pixels it's easier to handle this program is great from designing texture packs for minecraft so to um, get into your minecraft folder you want to go into where it is normally stored which is normally percent app data percent and it's in the dot minecraft folder mine is in a different location because it's temporary so into mcp underscore data into dot minecraft into the bin folder and then right click on the minecraft dot jar folder well file and this is important you want to open it with a winrar archiver so here i can get into the the um terrain png and change the looks of the blocks gotta go quite a way down there we go double click on that this will load it in windows photo of your or whatever your default is click on open and then paint.net in the options so this opens the terrain.png okay so as you can see it's not that easy to see so you want to zoom in I recommend to about 1200 1600 so this will actually let you edit the um, PNG pixel by pixel if you are going to do this there is a couple of things do not touch this one this one or the fire test hosts or any of these purple squares this is the water lava cake obviously so yeah, a couple of things that people don't like about minecraft is the glass you've got all the streaks in it so you can easily just remove the streaks the reason why you can't do this in normal MS Paint is because it doesn't recognize a clear view so if I were to clear all this out in MS Paint it have a white back black it would have a white background so it would display as a white block basically but here you can actually erase the full background to make it transparent so for instance let's see I want to use the eraser tool and I want to get rid of all these blemishes in the middle there we go don't forget to let go of your mouse button periodically otherwise you won't have anything in the history if you do make a mistake yep mm. looks good now I want to use my pick tool and I want to choose this nice color here this tends to be my primary color if I change to the pencil which is what I recommend when doing this it changes the color of the pixel pretty cool stuff so now in minecraft this is what the class will display like okay but I ain't gonna keep that because I want the default texture pack to stay default so I'm gonna discard the changes close this close the minecraft.jar close that so that was just a quick look at a program called MS Paint I'm Wolf TM 2008 please don't forget to like my videos comment on them and subscribe to my channel it really does mean a lot to me thank you very much guys and I will see you later bye